All right, the brand new morning here in, uh, in hell. I'm currently on the gym. It's 6 a.m. I couldn't sleep at all after uh, something I felt like was a bad, not, not a bad day, but uh, a day which I wasn't very happy with yesterday. Uh, even though we're P3 and all is good, uh, we just don't have the pace to, to the top two guys. Because uh, like my two qualifying hits, it was probably, it felt pretty good when I was driving, you know, but we, we still didn't have the speed. So, and then when you don't feel that you have anything more in the bank, then uh, then it's a bummer. <laughs> so always when that happens, I can't really sleep. So I woke up like 4 a.m. this morning, even though we weren't racing before like 9.30 or something. So yeah, nice to get to the gym. Uh, after been thinking all night uh, what we are gonna do. Uh, and I think we have some plans. Um, like obviously us in the team discuss a lot so I feel that we we have some plans for today uh, and that's the that's the key I'm getting suited. And booted. Ready for today? Ready for today, born ready. I mean, even putting on the fast glasses feels like I get the speed in my body already. Make sure to hit the link below actually to get the best merch in the world. Fast glasses, 400 UV, polarized. All the goodness. Uh, I would say the blue and the white uh, glasses are a bit brighter than the black, uh, yellow and red. The red has a little bit less color in it as well. But these ones are oh, super fast today. the weekend, Baccarat with 120 supporters here. Who's made a good start, it's Baccarat. Baccarat finds himself uh, losing out there, but Fraser then getting a little bit deep and gets into the back of Baccarat. Heats from Markland, Baccarat second, McConnell third. I, I didn't know which way you were you had going. to go around me. Yeah, I made sure to stay left, so you <laughs> had to go around me. It was good. All right, so we just finished Q3, which was a good heat. Like first time I felt like we're going somewhere. Uh, the car felt pretty good. Uh, obviously, we were in the heat with both the Hyundai's, we threw everything in there. Unused tires, the same as everybody else. Um, still the start sucks compared with the Hyundai's uh, right now, and they have done some brilliant stuff there. But on track, I think I think I have the pace to outperform Anton and uh, Fraser. So that it's gonna be up for an exciting like, semi-final final. I'm on it. Takes the victory. Uh, did a progression race, and uh, we, we, uh, I, I think we got lucky because a lot of people crashed behind me, so I could just take it cool for five laps, and felt pretty good. Didn't overdrive anything. Keep the tires for the same final, so that's next up. with a beautifully clean EKS Audi on the pole. Three Norwegians here in hell. In lead, it is Bakkerud. To see how this race compares to the last race at 3.16.2. That's a very fast race from Bakkerud. I just got back in from the semi-final. Uh, it's damn warm in the cars, which is nice. Uh, you get to sweat a lot. We won the semi-final, by the way, against uh, Janis Baumani. So, like I predicted, there will be Anton Marklin in pole, me in second. I need a killer of a start in the final to be able to challenge Anton because he's been on form 
this year in European Rallycross Championship. So yeah, I mean all all up for grabs. So we're gonna we're gonna do everything. We're gonna risk everything. All right, uh, lining up here on the pre-grid here together with Sandra Evian, uh, my buddy from Ghoul. I guess on the start here we're not buddies anymore. <laughs> but, uh, oh, see that in but, turn two. Uh, yeah. Oh, in turn two. That's yes. the turn. All right, all right. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's been it's been great, you know. It's been so many kids, which I think is really really cool. So I feel big love and big support here at uh, my home soil and big thank you to you guys for making it such a cool event for me. So I love to be here. Second. Let's go racing! Oh, it's a really poor start from Fraser McConnell! He's been left on us! Yes, only left on the grid! Baccarat squeezes himself into the lead of the race! Round the outside comes Andre Evian! This is about to kick off! Andres Baccarat takes a victory here in hell, here in his home circuit with thousands and thousands of fans flying the Norwegian flag! And they are the celebrations! They got donuts down at the first turn! Alright, so we just finished up the final. We won the race. Uh, big thank you to EKS, to HTB Racing, to Ramuden, to all the backer blues, for uh, Matthias especially for making this possible. The two races in the European Championship, Holius and Hal. We got away with the win in the end. I'm super pumped and proud at the same time. We are kind of on a winning strike here now. We need to keep on building. But anyway, it's going to be great with the summer vacation now. Uh, remember, to buy the sunglasses, to like, comment, watch the highlight of the weekend in this episode made by Martin behind the camera. Uh, and then uh, we keep it coming. Until next time, let's out.